Hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you some simple steps on how to run playwright tests in an Azure DevOps pipeline. Head over to dev.azure.com, which should bring you to the main page of your organization. Click on the new project button and fill in the necessary details. Azure has now created an empty repository for you, and I'm going to clone it to my local machine to create the test environment. You also have the option to push an existing repo from the command line if you prefer. Alternatively, you could import a repo from another service. Just add the URL of your GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket repo, and it will import it right into Azure. I'll clone the repo using SSH, Now that we have the repository cloned on my machine, the next step is to create the test environment by running npm init playwright at latest. This command sets up a nice environment, complete with a couple of example tests that we can use to run something in the Azure pipeline. Let's run these tests locally to make sure everything is working as expected. The test passed, so now we can do a git add, commit and push. Jumping back to Azure DevOps, you can now see the test environment we've created. Next, let's create the pipeline. I'll select the Node.js template to get us started. If you're running the pipeline on a cloud-hosted instance, you can choose VM images like Ubuntu Latest, Windows Latest, or macOS Latest. But I'm not using the cloud, I'm running this on a self-hosted Windows machine. Now, we need to look at what Playwright recommends for running tests, so let's hop over to Google to check their documentation. Here's the code snippet that looks like it's everything we need. Let's go ahead and run our first test. For now, we'll just focus on executing the tests. Later, we'll add more details, like integrating a database and configuring artifacts for test reporting. The test ran successfully, so far so good. One more thing, if you want to run these tests containerized, which in this case means using the official Playwright Docker container by Microsoft, you can add that container to your definitions. Next, let's look at setting up a database. This is crucial for test environments that connect to databases and, for example, verify that data was stored correctly. The easiest way to set up a database is with Docker. If you're on a cloud-hosted instance, you'll need to install Docker or Docker CLI. There might be some additional configuration required for those tasks, but you can find code snippets for that in Azure's documentation. Since I'm using a self-hosted machine, I already have Docker Desktop installed, so I don't need those tasks. Now let's move on, we'll need the Docker image for our database, in this example we're using MongoDB. Here's the Docker command we can use with a few tweaks. We'll use the latest image, so I'll change the tag to latest. We also need to expose the default MongoDB port to the outside world, which we can do with the P parameter. Once the database has started, we need to verify that it's running, 
we're going to install Mongosh to check that. Also, since I'm running this on a self-hosted machine, I'll stop and remove the Docker container after this. You don't need to do this if you're using a cloud-hosted instance. With that done, we're ready to run the pipeline again. And there you go, the databases are admin, config, and local. After checking the database, you can see the output of stopping and removing the Docker container. Finally, let's look at how we can get the test report out of our pipeline. For that, we need to configure the test report file as an artifact. We'll grab a couple of lines of code from the Azure DevOps documentation. Always check the docs because things can change. For example, the artifact publishing step was totally different the last time I set this up. This looks good, let's copy it. The file we need to publish is index.html in the Playwright report directory. Looks like the link to the artifact isn't in the publish step, but in the job view. And there it is, the test report. That wraps up our tutorial. If you liked it, share it with your colleagues. Thanks for watching.